Hey guys, so today we have so many great things to talk about. I wanna share with you, as always, like I do at the end of the month, what I've been into this month. And just so many great things. I considered doing like a best of 2015 type thing, but, but I feel like if you guys have watched these videos for me every month, it would be really, really repetitive. And so, I'm just gonna touch on a bunch of different things and just kind of show you what I've been into this month. And I have the contest winner that I'm gonna announce in the Apple Watch giveaway that I collaborated with with Colleen Rothschild, which was really, really fun. She was so excited to be a part of that. I was excited to be a part of that. We just had fun doing that and um, I always like doing stuff like that. I Oh, weird hair. We were just really excited to do that for you guys. So I have the winner for that. I have a new pair of sunglasses, which if you guys know me, I really get new sunglasses lately. I... Not, I wouldn't say I've been on like a kick, but um, I have gotten a few new pairs lately. These are just my favorite ones I think that I've ever had ever. That's a huge statement. I'm very like quality over quantity when it comes to sunglasses. I don't buy them left and right. I don't have a huge collection, but the ones that I do I think are really, really good. And these are so great. Better than any I've ever seen, any I've ever had. Any They are just so, so wonderful. I'm gonna share with you all of the things that I've been loving this month from like makeup looks, things, you know, that I've been using, like go-to types of things. Today, I'm wearing my um, David Yerman earrings that I showed, the little pearls that I showed in my Christmas video, my L&M cuff. These are made so, so nicely. They're very reminiscent of the Hermes cuffs. Very well made. I get so many compliments on this thing. Like literally every time I wear it, someone says something about it. It's so great. I'm wearing my new Gap top. I wouldn't really call it a sweatshirt because it's not like really super thick. It's very comfortable. I have not had a Yap sweatshirt since it's like middle school and I still have that one. It's one of my favorite sweatshirts that I wear around the house, but I love these. I love how they're doing this and um, I did get a short sleeved top as well. So first, if you guys have been curious about the giveaway winner, it ended on the 20th and as always, like when you do giveaways, um, if you are on YouTube as well, maybe this is a little tip. I've done a bunch over the years and it can get really chaotic. I'm really thankful that Colleen and her team handled the giveaway, like the actual logistics and the, uh, you know, contacting and everything. But, you know, it's always a good idea to contact the winner uh, before you announce it because you'll get all of these copycat things and it's just, it's horrible. So the winner is Stephanie underscore Choate, Coate, Stephanie Coate, I believe, C-H-O-A-T-E. Uh, that was her, I believe that's her Instagram. So she was really excited to win. I'm really happy that she won. So congratulations, Stephanie. Everybody give her a little congratulations pat on the back. Really, really awesome. Thank you so much for following me and for watching my videos, for following Co Colleen and for entering the giveaway. I'm really happy that we were able to get you a watch. So I'll do some more things like this coming up. I always like doing give giveaways very randomly, very here and there, but um, but it was really fun. Okay, are you guys, are you ready for these glasses? I don't know if you are. Maybe I'm building it up too much. I don't know. I'm just really super excited. They are the Tom Ford, I don't know what they're called. They're very, very similar. I don't know if they're similar though. I don't know what, what I would say to the Audrey by Celine, except I think they're a little more, these are more flattering. And I have the Audreys, I have the new Audreys. They're very thick, they're very, you know, I, they have to really stretch out to get comfortable. These are just, I was so surprised when I got them how lightweight they are. They have a bit of a retro vibe to them, which I like, I love the shape. Um, when you wear, you know, they have that kind of square look. Uh, they have, you know, just the pretty, very subtle Tom Ford details, but these are just solid. They feel good, and I really, like I told you guys, you know, I'm very quality over quantity when it comes to sunglasses, and I don't like to repeat. I don't like to have similar styles, similar colors, so I really wanted a pair that was brown that was obviously brown. Um, this is a very kind of, like, amberish tortoise. It's so, so beautiful. I have the brown Tory Burch ones that I wear all the time, and I've I've worn the absolute you-know-what out of those. They're very lightweight like these, but these feel more solid. I'm always afraid that I'm gonna mess those up. These are just very solid. They feel very well made, and they're obviously brown. Those other ones, they look kind of black. So I didn't wanna get another black pair. These also come in the most gorgeous blue, but I have a pair of blue ones that are very similar, if you guys remember those. Uh, so I didn't wanna get blue, but holy goodness, the blue in these are absolutely gorgeous. If you want these, um, you can get them from my friend. He is the manager at the Sunglass Hut in Boston. So if you are in Boston, uh, the address is 335 Newberry Street, Boston. 
and their location carries Chanel. They carry Tom Ford. They carry Miu Miu, which a lot of stores don't if you guys are familiar with Sunglass Hut. So you can't really find a lot of the brands. And um, Jeffrey, I don't know if you guys remember, he worked at Henry Bendel. He was, I believe he was the manager there. That's how we met. And he just became such a good friend. We talk all the time. He's really, really sweet. And I miss him. He moved to Boston for work. But he's just really awesome. And he was sweet enough to give me his contact information. He will get back to you. He will really work with you and maybe even send you pictures of different ones. He sent me pictures of some of the most amazing Chanel ones that they have that you guys will flip. So these, I just got them this week, but they are like, ha, ah, you know guys, when I'm excited about something, I'm really excited about it. I'm really, really obsessed with these. I just love them. They have that modern shape, but yet they're retro. That makes sense. Modern yet retro? Another huge reason to order through him, besides the fact that he's my friend and he's awesome and he'll actually like, you'll actually get what you what you get and it's like tr a trusted person to order from. They are doing $50 off right now if you spend over 200, which obviously you're gonna be. So even if you get another pair, it's gonna be, you know, it'll be that much. And I believe that's through the new year. What did he say? Right. Until the second. So if you want to contact him to order, I'll put all of his info below, or if you are in that area, go to the Newberry Street Sunglass Hut, his email below, and I will put his phone number below. So I'm really excited that he, you know, offered that to me to let me share his info with you guys because I think that's just special, you know? I think that's that's really good. So I had a pair of Chanel's. I was back and forth between those and the Chanel's that have like a pearl and they're really classic and just so beautiful, but I thought I'm going a little nuts lately. Like I'm really into pearls and I might... I might order those through him, but I'm like, I'm like Tiffany, don't become obsessed. So excited, you guys know, like if I find a pair of sunglasses, I like, I will wear the heck out of them like forever and ever. These are just something I would reach for every single day and feel amazing. Okay, I think I've talked enough about that. I think I'm going a little nuts. Okay. I have discovered possibly the best BB cream ever. I feel like I say that every time I discover a new BB cream. I really do. I know I do. But you know what's funny? They're all different. Like the Clinique Acne Solutions, totally different. And this wouldn't really replace that, the one I'm about to talk about. I'm teasing you. I know. Um, it's very thin. It's very summer, that one. Or you could wear it in the winter, but for me, that's very summer. Like a lot of coverage, really good. Uh, but the It CC Your Skin But Better. Okay, love that. I've raved about it for years. The formula is very moisturizing. Very good for this time of year in the winter. And it can be like kind of dry, although on Christmas we were running our AC and it was like 75 degrees. Where's my snow? I really wanted snow this year, really, really wanted it. But the CC by IT, this is so similar. However, I've heard a lot of people get upset about the IT because they feel like it doesn't set, they feel like it might be a little too heavy. I get that. It can, I get it, okay, I get it. But the co coverage is so good, it's just such a nice product that I will always love it. This is the Arborean BB Cream with Ginseng Baby Skin Yos Effect. Yos, did I just, did I just, Yos? Um, SBF 20 Sunscreen. I'm getting really excited talking about this because it's so good. So I use the shade Claire, which I believe is the lightest, and it's beautiful. It's just a very beautiful effect. That's what I'm wearing today. It's beautiful coverage. It looks natural, and that baby skin effect, yes. It is so, keeps you from getting oily. It's amazing, okay? It keeps you from getting oily, but it makes you look natural. So it's just so great. I will go straight from washing my face or, you know, in the morning, I, I use my little um, Murad wipes because I'm usually in a hurry. And then I'll put my little serum on. That's the, um, like, anti-aging acne serum stuff from Murad. And then I'll just put this on. I don't do a moisturizer or anything. This is it. And it's just an all-in-one thing. So it is moisturizing. It reduces the appearance of blemishes, refined skin textures, it moisturizes and plumps, plumps the skin, non oily velvety finish to create a perfect like finish. And then it evens out and mattifies the complexion and it does all those things. It's so great. I don't want to keep going on. It has a very fresh scent if you're not into the scent of the um, it one because it's kind of sweet. It can be a little sickening, but I like it. This one is very fresh smelling. It's just beautiful. It's so natural. You have got to try this. Oh my gosh. Okay obsessed with these. I've mentioned these a while back, but they're the Burberry Orange, or no, the Burberry Lip and Cheek Bloom. I have the Orange Blossom and the Poppy. Okay, between these two, I think these colors are pretty perfect, but I'm not a huge cream blush person. They're not heavy, they're not sticky, but the color is so beautiful. So this Poppy color I've been wearing a lot. That's what I'm wearing today. 
and um, looks like that. And I use a brush like this. This is the Sigma F15. Sometimes I'll use my finger and just go like that and it's so velvety, blends in perfectly. This is kind of like a clear pink looking stain, although you can really build it up. But I'll use this brush and just kind of, it's so perfect. And then also the orange blossom. If I look like I'm looking down a lot, I'll have Olivia's monitor here. Uh, this is, and you can use these on your lips too. So the orange blossom might scare you because it says orange, but it's just a beautiful peachy color. Oh my gosh, like I live for this one. So both of those, so perfect together. I actually ordered another one because I went nuts enough. I should have just not, I should have just stuck with these. But I ordered the one, I believe it was called Rose and it was the really light pink one and it did not show up at all. I really was like, oh, well I'll just build it up. But then I thought, I don't like to put that much cream products on my face. That's why I love these so much is because the color is so intense that you need just a little bit. Whereas like, if you use a different product that was creamy, you may have to build it up and then you have like sticky cheeks. So try these, they're so, so good. The Bond Girl by Charlotte Tilbury. I've talked about these and raved about these Matte Revolution lipsticks this month. But Bond Girl, out of all of them, if I just had to choose one, if I would just have to recommend one, this. This will last me forever because the color is so pigmented that you barely have to just use any at all. That's what I'm using today. And I pinpointed the scent, if you're familiar with the Too Faced chocolate stuff, whether it's the chocolate bar palette or that is this. That's what this smells like. Love it so much. Speaking of, I confused the pants off of a lot of y'all. Got real southern for a moment there. Uh, with this Tardis contour palette. So I was just being honest. I was going through it. I was like, yeah, you know, it's just like their chocolate bronzers. This smells exactly like the Too Faced chocolate bar, speaking of. Chocolate bar palette, the chocolate bar bronzers. Chocolate, so let you guys know, I'm obsessed with those bronzers. So I know what they smell like. This smells just like that, especially this color right here. So when I was looking at this, and every time I've opened this, the smell just hit me and I immediately thought, oh, that's the chocolate bronzers. And I was confusing the Too Faced with the Tarte. So yes, I realized that that's not the same product. I realized that I confused you, I realized that. But if you've tried this, what's the deal? Did they decide that they're gonna make their products chocolate scented? I don't know. This is a good little powder um, for, thing for contouring, but I have been using of uh, different things to contour lately, more creamy products. I don't know, I've just been into that. I've been using, um, as always, my Soleil Tan de Chanel. What is this called? I always say the wrong thing, Bronze Universal. Okay, that's easy. I always like go to read off the back and then I read the wrong thing. I need to pick up another one. So I use that just kind of lightly, you know, kind of bronze. And then I've been using my Kevin Aquan palette, the Sculpting Cream. And then I use these eyeshadows sometime. Here's a sculpting cream. I don't use these. So I wish that I just had the sculpting cream, but I do love the eyeshadows. This palette is no longer available, but the sculpting cream is. So I will link to that. It's very worth it. Really love it. That's what I did today. I used a little bit of the, I used the bronze universal, you know, just softly like I would. And then um, just touched a little bit of that. Just what I've been into, but I know I confused y'all. Uh, but why did they scent these like chocolate? Is that gonna be like something that they're doing? I just, it is so, it's so bizarre. Moving on. This is a product you can get at the drugstore. It's by Jergens. It's the Hydrating Coconut uh, with Coconut Oil Dry Skin Moisturizer. Holy goodness, please try this. It's so good. Very inexpensive. I hate putting on lotion when I get out of the shower. I really am not into like a lot of body butter. So I just want to get out and be like, do, 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 and have it sink in and get dressed and go. This is so good. It's not very heavily scented, but it's just a really sweet, um, yummy coconut smell. Not a gross coconut smell. It says, with illuminating hydrolucent blend and coconut oil and ultra hydrating coconut water, it makes your skin look pretty. It's not gonna make your skin look shimmery or anything, but it's going to make your skin look beautiful. I like to put it like on my chest. I put it all over, but I'm just saying it makes your chest look pretty, makes your arms and your legs look pretty if you're gonna bear those, but just try it. It's so good. That's my new, go to. And then I've been so into this, again, the NARS Coal Liner in Menorque, and I can just do it kind of messy, blend it out and no big deal, or I could just kind of go over it with my Ico, just right at the um, base of the lashes. This is the skinny liquid liner. So been loving that. I kind of want, you know, let me know if you want to see like a video. I might start doing that every month uh, where I'm, I do like a 
I don't know, just I, I try to do that anyways. Like if I'm doing something a lot different or not even different, but if I just have a go-to look that I just wear kind of like every day, I'll just do a video on it. Cause you guys know like I do, I've done pretty much every look over the years, like a bunch of different ones. And I'll continue to do like different types of stuff. But sometimes I think the most helpful things are just videos of everyday looks, things that aren't super intense or in your face or super different. But along the way, you'll pick up like different tips and tricks and stuff. And I want to do like, I'm not even gonna tell you what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna do this, this cool video coming up soon, okay. A skincare product that I'm gonna throw in, I did not mention this during my skincare video. I mentioned different types of moisturizers and stuff like that, but with all of these like, you know, highlighting techniques and baking, which I'm gonna do a video, just don't even, just sit tight for that, cause it's coming. You gotta be careful because you'll look like a crepey hot mess. And you know, it's just, it's it's all about your skin. You know, if you obviously put makeup over like smooth, moisturized skin that's not wrinkly, then it's gonna look better than if it's kind of dry and crepey. So, this is an amazing product. It's the Age Renewal Super Serum by Colleen Rothschild. I've used about that much of this one. Um, I had an older one that I had used quite a bit of and then I ended up giving it to my grandmother when she was staying with us. I gave her my face cream. I gave her, because she was like trying different things. I was like, just take it. You know, I can get some more. So I'm constantly giving away all my stuff. So I had to get another one of these because I love it so much. And you know, I've used about that much, but you really need a tiny amount. So that kind of, you know, it shows that it'll last a long time. It's a little expensive, but it's so good. What it is, is it's it's a serum. It's an age, anti-aging serum. It's got all these great, gosh, let's see, ingredients. Blue, I think blue copper is one of the ingredients that gives it this pretty color. It says it effectively fights the six signs of aging, texture, dehydration, elasticity, fine lines, radiance, and tone. It's very concentrated, infused with more than 20 potential ingredients. Peptides, collagen boosters, amino acids, vitamins, plant extracts, blah, 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 blah. It's really good. So what I do is I put a little bit on my fingertips after I've washed my face, after I've done that acne anti-aging serum, which I don't really put here anyways. I just kind of do it on my forehead. So what I do, I put a little on my fingertips, I go like this, and I, I don't get it close to my eyeballs, but I pat it here, this whole area right here. Now it's very moisturizing, but it's a serum. So you can use a moisturizer after if I wanted to use my cream, any kind of thing after I could layer it. Yeah, this is so good. And I have really noticed a difference because it's made my skin look younger through here, I think. And I've been using it, like I said, you know, I've used about that much. But with skincare, you have to be consistent to see results. So I really feel like I am noticing that that looks prettier when I apply makeup over it. Like I said, especially with these baking techniques, all these highlighting techniques where you're highlighting this area, you want it to look good. The Urban Decay All Nighter Spray, there are so many different makeup sprays right now, but you know, I always come back to this one. I think this would be one that I could keep in my purse. It's definitely the ideal one to keep at my makeup table to set everything with. I actually notice a huge difference when I use this, and I'm the first to say if something's gimmicky, and the first, a lot of sprays look nice to begin with, uh, but do they do anything to really prolong the wear of your makeup? This one actually does. You'll notice touching up less. You'll notice when you look, you know, things aren't settling as much. It just looks good. So try this. It's oil-free, paraben-free, temperature control technology. So, so good. This is probably my third bottle of this. It's a tried and true staple for me. It's a good product that makes you look glowy. It has the finest mist, which is a huge plus for me. I am always all about that, like, fine mist. Like, I don't like things that are wet or things that are just gonna be like, and you feel like five things on your face, you know? It's just so fine. I could literally, I could spray like 10 sprays of this and then walk out the door and I would just look so do, and it instantly dry. It's just so perfect. So, so good. It says to spray two to four times in an X and a T formation. Did I do that? I don't know. So good. And then this, you've seen a lot this month, the Too Faced Melted Sugar. Not a huge fan of this whole range in general. However, I think, I think they're good. But I think I'm just comparing it like to the ones that are more longer wearing or the ones that really set. These are a little more, um, I don't wanna say oily, but they just don't set as much. But the Melted Sugar, you have got to get, it's the one that's the most nude in their line. They do have one called Nude, but it's a little more, um, I would say, a little darker than this. It's definitely darker than this. It's a little tanny. This one is a true nude, 
when you wear any of your liquid lipsticks, any of your regular lipsticks, you can take just a little bit of this and um, just the tiniest bit, pop it right in the center. I have on a little bit of lip gloss, so this isn't, this is just for example. And then it gives you that look like not so flat, you know what I mean? So good, you've gotta, you've gotta get this, such a must. And that's it. I feel like I've gone through things pretty quickly. I feel like I had a lot to talk about this month though. And you know, I really am excited about the new year. I have so many great things coming up. Like I said, my resolutions video will be coming up. I've mentioned that a couple times. Oh my gosh. I don't wanna get anything away, but I'm so excited about this month. Okay, sunglasses. Put them on one more time, just cause I love them. If you were into these, if you want any um, Tom Ford, especially at a $50 discount, oh my goodness, um, Chanel. If you had your eye on anything, now's the time to do it, especially since you can save $50 through my friend Jeffrey. Definitely email him. I will put his info below. He was so sweet and awesome to let me share his goodness with you all. So thank you to him. Uh, thank you again to Colleen for the giveaway. Congratulations again to Stephanie. So happy for you. Um, I'll do some more things like that coming up for you guys. Um, definitely check out some of this stuff. As I said, so, so good. And I will put a link to everything below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will talk to you all very, very soon. And Happy New Year. So thanks again for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.